Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Denise, excuse the absolute state of me. I haven't put no makeup on yet. My hair is a mess because I plaited it yesterday and then slept in it. Um, but it is Tuesday the 15th of June. Um, and um, yeah, I ended the vlog Sunday. <laughs> um, yesterday I didn't vlog anything, I should have done really. Um, but. Casey came here because she's got she had a problem with her car it was making a funny noise uh, so she came here and we took the car to the garage and it was literally just a heat shield <laughs> that um, they were able to remove anyway so that's really good um, it was nothing major and then um, we went to Morrison's and had some breakfast, brunch, whatever. <laughs> and then uh, we come back here for a little while and then decided to go to um, Lakeside. Um, and Casey just wanted to go to Primark and Home Bargains or B&M, one of them two. Um, but we ended up in Home Bargains. Um, in Primark, I got a really nice dress. It's like a long dress. A little bit like that blue one that I was wearing last week, but it's got sort of a little bit longer sleeves um, and it ties up at the waist. Um, and I thought it'd be nice just to chuck on, like either after a shower or just hanging around the house and things and even it's nice enough to wear out as well it's like a jersey material um and it's nice enough just to wear out if i wanted to as well so um yeah it's sort of a lounging type dress that is acceptable for most things i think <laughs> um I got that and I got some more of the sort of sport bra things uh, because obviously in the summer it's nice not to have to wear boned bras and whatnot. You're probably not interested in that. But um, yeah, I like just the sort of, they're like soft bras basically. Um, but yeah, so I got some of those, some hair bands because hair bands seem to always go missing. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a t-shirt as well. So the t-shirt I had on Sunday, the pink one, I bought a blue one as well because I thought, well, I am still a little bit sore, um, especially like where my straps sit and that from getting burnt on Sunday, uh, Saturday. Um, and the t-shirt that I wore, even though it was really, really hot weather, the t-shirt didn't make me feel that much hotter um, and it's really thin and I just thought that it would be ideal to wear if it's really really hot and I want to sort of cover it up a little bit. Um, next Sunday, or should I say this Sunday, weather permitting, um, we, I say we, me and Ian's sisters and nieces and nephews, um, well, two of Ian's sisters. So we've got Paula, Z Zoe, the kids, and Jodie, which is Paula's eldest daughter. Um, we're all going to Chesington on Sunday. So I thought if it's going to be really, really hot, then I will wear a T-shirt because obviously we're going to be out in the open most of the time. But I've checked the weather and it says it's going to rain. So that's really not good. Um, let's see if it's changed. No, see, from Thursday this week, Thursday, it's going to rain. <laughs> and there is a 80% chance of rain on Sunday. So it looks like uh, we'll be wearing a t-shirt and maybe a waterproof coat. <laughs> um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it might change a little bit and we will get to enjoy going to Chesington. Um so yeah, that's happening. I don't know if I'll vlog in anything because obviously I'm not with my family. I'm with Ian's sisters and that. So I'm not sure yet. Um, but today I'm going to film um, a podcast. I wasn't going to, but then I thought, no, I will film a podcast because I have a finished object. I have quite a bit of progress on my cowl. Um, and... So yeah, I thought I would just film a podcast today, even if it's quite short, just sort of quickly get it up. Um, but I'm just edi just edited last week's vlog and filming on my phone and filming on the camera. It's really um, difficult to get the clips in 
like when I upload them in order so I have to sort of search for all the different bits and pieces um, but there was a few clips last week that were the wrong way round uh, just because they were clips that I was sending in our little um, WhatsApp group with my mum and dad and I completely forgot that I would add them to the, the vlog so they are the wrong way round but you still get the gist of um, like the, not the wrong the the image isn't the wrong way round but you got the black lines either side but it is what it is um, I don't really know what else is happening this week um, I don't know whether I'll be going to Tina's tomorrow I'm going to message her today um, yeah we're just we're just rolling with it basically not really sure um, I think my business cards tried to come yesterday but um, obviously I wasn't here and it says that they went were sent back to the sorting office but I'm not really sure when the sorting office is open because their closing times have changed and online there's two different sets of closing times um, I might just take a chance and go up there and see if it's open because I can just drive around the block really um, but I'm gonna do that after um, it did say 10 o'clock it shuts it's 20 past 10 now on the Google website but on their actual website it said 5 I think um, and it's, it is only up the road so I might just take the car out and and, and go up there um, last week I showed you um, this box that I bought and I bought another one yesterday being in home bargains and I thought it was the same size it's not <laughs> It's, um, this ain't the box, but this is the lid to it. The box is in the kitchen with what I bought in it still. <laughs> um, and the lid was just loose, but it doesn't matter because I think they will both fit in the, the cupboard drawer thing anyway. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all good. Um, but I have, let me just show you, because obviously you'll see the podcast if you watch that first. Um, I have finished my socks my June socks uh, and this is with the contrasting cuff and toe with a hand dyed yarn so I'm really pleased with these they are both finished I don't know where the other one is um, but I'm going to show them in the podcast um, and then I did start a different pair of socks are they in? no they're not in there um, but I ran out of yarn so I'm going to do um, mis mis mishmashed socks so they're going to have the same cuff and toe but the actual yarn in the middle is going to be different because I've run out so the yarn the blue and pinky yarn that I picked uh, there wasn't enough so silly me never mind but the yarn I've chosen to do the other one is this one so it's blue and yellow and the cuff is yellow and the cuff and the toe is yellow plus I have done a fish no a hill t hill flap and gusset and I think that's why I've run out because I am just thinking that you use a lot more yarn to do a heel flap and gusset instead of a fish lips kiss heel um, but I wanted to try it and I really wanted to give it a go so I did and it worked and it's all good and I don't even have to really follow the video next time for the next one I do so it's all good I'm gonna answer my phone and I will speak to you a little bit later on so a podcast is filmed my hair is now not as fuzzy because I've taken it out of the plaits I put a little bit of makeup on <laughs> um, and yeah I've just got to tidy up all the mess around me now um, but yeah so the podcast is filmed I'm really glad that I did that actually because otherwise I think I would have felt even more lost next week um, but yeah so um, Ian is going to pick me up to take me to the post office to hopefully get my um, cards I think that's what it is anyway but also the postman came this morning and I was like oh I wonder if they've got them because sometimes they bring them back um but they didn't <laughs> there was no post for us uh so never mind that's what's going to happen today I don't really know what's going to happen for the rest of the day um I don't need to go anywhere I don't need to buy anything I just need to go out get my parcel and be done <laughs> um and wait for the vlog to finish editing so yeah I don't need to buy anything today 
It's now Thursday. Um, sorry about the telly flickering. I've just been watching the Great B British Sewing Bee. Um, so I won't spoil it for anyone that hasn't watched it because some weeks I was like a whole week behind. <laughs> um, but I'm so glad the person who won actually won. Um, so yeah, but it is Thursday. I went to Tina's yesterday for a little while. Um, I'm not going to be doing like businessy business stuff for a little while um, things are going on in the background and yeah so um, but I will still be keeping in contact with her and um, basically popping around there when I can and things like that because we're friends as well as me going around there and doing businessy stuff um, my battery light is flashing now but I thought I would quickly come on and show you my new business cards as they have arrived um, so I've got a whole new design and I've got them professionally printed this time. And this is what they look like. Um, sorry if that is coming up blurry. They're not blurry. So that is that. And then the back is just a lighter print of the background. And then the other ones that I've got are for my yarn. And it's the same on the front. Why are you not focusing? So same on the front, but on the back I've got printed like the stickers that I use for my yarn. Um, so then I can just write straight on the back there. So I'm so happy with those. Um, and yeah, so I got a batch of each and I will be starting to use those. Um, today the weather is raining. Um, it's not really that cold. It's still really hot and muggy. Um, I've got the windows wide open, so yeah, but it's um, it's not cold at all. Yesterday it got up to 33 degrees in my car. Um, yeah, so it was very, very hot yesterday. But today it's raining and it's going to rain for the rest of the week. <laughs> um, so I'm not complaining because it's nice to have warm weather um, or nice hot weather as well as a cooler days as well so um, yeah I'm not complaining it's a bit dark so I might put the light on actually because it is obviously overcast and rainy so the clouds are grey <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go because obviously this is flashing I'm gonna put it on charge now um, and I will show you my sock a little bit later I have finished one and I am actually knitting on the heel flap at the moment on the second one so I'll show you how I've got on with that um, but I'm going to put this on charge first and I'll come back on a little bit later. So I'm just sorting out my desk because um, it's a big mess and I've had a little tidy up here, excuse my mess in the corner, it's my project bags and things on the table that the camera needs charging like the CCTV camera and that but anyway this is my desk at the moment um, and it is a little bit more organized I've um, spread these out a little bit more like my jars because I thought it'd be nicer I've put my actual skeins of yarn here um, and then all of this is commercial yarn I'm going to move all this here and I'm going to put these there and I'm gonna get rid of the lamp as well let's just put you down um, yeah I'm gonna get rid of the lamp as well but you might have seen that I have just on there was a was a little um, parcel so I ordered a box from um, Siobhan's Siobhan's Crafts look at this oh my god um, so she was doing a mystery box and it was in the theme of something and it was the theme of flamingos in the package was a little box of Haribo but, oh my god um, so yeah I thought I would open it on camera so um, there's little words on the back little words there's a little paragraph on the back just saying thank you for your purchase your support means the world i hope you enjoy your purchases please do share pictures of your creations using the hashtag siobhan's crafts thanks again siobhan um so yeah i am so excited um so it's flamingo bait oh i just i have seen the last couple because she put pictures on instagram and there was a bumblebee one there and that looked amazing and there was one I can't remember was it spring I can't remember but um, yeah so I'm just organizing everything there was a knock at the door um, I have ordered a mini skein 
set as well, but that hasn't come yet. But that the I know the dyer was dyeing it on um, Tuesday, so that might take a little bit more time to come. So she she actually um, put a little bit of material in because she made bags as well, um, and she did. Um, I watched her live on Instagram, and she said that there was some material left over. So in each on each box, she put a bit of that on. So. Um, yeah, I decided to get the sock base, obviously. Uh, she does them in double knit and sock. I'm not even going to attempt to try and save this tissue paper because I don't think it will work. Um, let's see if I can get it out of the box without ripping it even more. It matches my, um, my dress. <laughs> Woohoo! So I've got it out the back. Oh, so let's should we open it together <gasps> oh my god there's like a patch oh my god it's massive so a patch I think it might be an iron on one um, there might be instructions inside oh there's some feathers This yarn just screams my name. Um, I'm just going to put it down a second. Um, oh my god, look at this colour. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's beautiful. Colourway is Flamingo. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. Um, I have actually got a um, cowl in mind. It's called the... Um, I did show it um, in my podcast I think and it's got like trees and everything and I was thinking of having like a pinkish black background with black um, trees and mountains and that oh my god this is going to be perfect so oh yes that's the yarn then also in here we have oh my word now this was worth every penny oh Oh my goodness, how adorable is this? It's a flamingo pom pom keychain. Oh, that is going on my bag. I love it. It is so cute. And the reason I got this bag, because obviously it's going to be pink, and I just love everything flamingo. <laughs> um, and there is a stitch marker in here as well, a flamingo one. And it's on the lever back. Oh, that is so nice. That is so, so nice. And then there's one last thing in here, which... Oh, my God. Is it a bag? Please tell... Is it a tote bag? It's a reusable tote bag. goes on it I love it oh my goodness oh this is just perfect oh yes I absolutely love all of this I am over the moon I am more than happy I because obviously with um mystery boxes you don't really know what you're going to get so it's like well am I going to get stuff that I'm going to use and things well this just folds back into its little pouch um, with what is what does it say on there oh, it's just a barcode um, but it comes with a little pouch so you can hook it onto your bag or inside your bag or whatever oh wow I know I keep saying oh wow but this is just more than what I, I expected like maybe the yarn a stitch marker and that was pretty much it that was all I, my expectations but this is just oh it was um 22 pounds for this box um and I just think it was worth every single penny for all of this stuff it is just amazing plus the bag the stitch marker 
So there's like five things here, and, and the sweets, and the feathers, and the ribbon that I could reuse. Oh wow. Well. Thank you so much. So I've finished tidying up. I'm just watching. Yes, I gave it to you. I'm just watching uh, Crazy Sock Lady, but this is what I have done. <laughs> so I've put them there now, and my um, skeins there, balls there, jars there. So it's very similar, just moved that basically. Um, and my box of yarn and goodies there. So um, I've moved my plant to here for now because it was blocking out so much light so um, yeah that's that let me show you the socks let me just put you on the tripod so this is the first sock with the heel flap and gusset I have tried it on and it is a little bit long um, so I did 72 rounds um, including the gusset decreases and everything so I did 72 rounds I'm thinking of maybe doing 70 rounds and seeing how that works um, but yeah so this is the first one and then the second one is very different because I haven't got the same yarn <laughs> but I'm gonna do them like odd socks deliberately odd socks um, and this is um, the night train this is yarn that I've dyed up myself um, it was called the night train and this I've done the um, cuff and the heel flap I just got to do the decreases and then the, the gusset so yeah I am enjoying doing this at the moment um, I think because it's something new and I'm thinking of also the next pair of socks that I do will probably be like yarn that I've got here anyway um, like that I've used <laughs> that's what I mean that I've used um, and I found another um, sock needle while I was tidying up over there as well so I have three sock needles that I can use um, but I want to do a pattern for the next sock so yeah I'm gonna look into that as well but I am very pleased with how this is working up and I'm pleased to say that I've got one already done um, so why is that so heavy in my little bag um, my cowl I'll show you that quickly I haven't got that much more than when I podcasted really I managed to get in this pinky ready color it's more like a raspberry color and then this color and then I just have to go around again with um, the gray so yeah that's coming along nicely as well but I'm gonna carry on watching Kay and um, I need to rewatch her video to see how I did the decreases <laughs> um, or the turn, sorry, the turn I need to do. Um, I can't remember how many I knitted because I didn't follow the Rose City Roller Sock uh, turn. I followed the video turn, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to do that. I've got a cup of coffee on the go from my coffee machine and yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing now so I have finished the heel turn and I have finished the gusset decreases along here and um, it's just round and round now so I'm really happy with this um, and it doesn't take that long at all um, I think my, my um, decreases are on um, about 20 rows um, or should I say, yeah, 20 rows. So um, I really enjoyed doing this type of heel this time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it on the next one. Um, I'm not sure because, <laughs> um, you know, I said the other day, I think I said it in the podcast as well, um, that the yarn that I had pulled out, the red and the orange yarn that I had, that I'm not going to have enough to make a pair of socks but I was so eager to cost on another pair <laughs> that I have done that um, so I got my spare needle that I found today and I have managed to knit two cuffs so I haven't done two at a time socks for so long um, but my thinking is 
I have this much of the two red and I'm going to knit until one of them runs out and then change to the orange and then do the same for the orange and then um, I went through my little stash yarn and I found this which I used um, last year in September I think for my September socks um, I'm not 100% sure I can't remember but um, I did use it last year and I thought that they sort of go together really well so um, I just thought yeah so I will knit until this runs out um, and then just move on to this so I do have um, two pieces of this as well pieces one's a ball and one's a cake um, it's just the way that it was wound up and it's the way it was when I wound it up for my litmus cow litmus cow yeah um, so <laughs> yeah that is that so I've cast on another pair of socks so I have two socks two pairs on the go um, and yeah I just haven't done two at a time for so long but I wanted them to match and I just thought maybe doing them at the same time would be better I will be doing a fish lips kiss heel for these ones just because um, I don't really know how to do a heel flap and gusset on a sock that is in the round basically <laughs> um, it's probably really easy but I haven't got the patience for that at the moment because I just want to see how much of this yarn I can actually use and it's a good way for me and anyone really to use up your leftovers so get some yarns that go together well um, I'm not going to blend them or anything I'm just gonna once one runs out go into the next one so I've done a 12 row 2x2 two two rib cuff on both of them and I'm gonna knit the leg I don't know I don't know how far I'm gonna go with the leg I'm just gonna see how it feels um, but yeah that's that I was going to knit a little bit on my um, cowl tonight and I might because it's only half past six um, so I've done quite a lot of sock knitting today um, so I'm going to put this to one side and um, yeah definitely going to knit a little bit on my cowl as I haven't really done much on that and um, I would like to get another couple of colours in so uh, yeah it's raining again. It did stop for quite a while. Like all afternoon it didn't rain, but it's raining again. So I think it's going to rain most of the evening now. Um, Ian is home. He's having a lay down. Um, so yeah, just been watching telly. Um, we're going to get some dinner soon. Um, I think we might be getting pizza tonight. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to have a shower and wash my hair tonight because... I rang my mum and she said, did you put your finger in a socket? I was like, no. <laughs> but I did comb it out this morning, so that's why it's gone a little bit funny. But I knew I weren't going anywhere and all was well. So I haven't hula hooped today either. But I'll probably, I'll probably do some of that tomorrow. I'll probably do double tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'll probably speak to you tomorrow now. Hi guys, it is Saturday and I'm at home today. Um, Ian's off to the garage as usual, but I've decided that I'm going to stay home. It's half past three nearly. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, I've been shopping, I've put washing on, I've done a little bit of tidying. <laughs> so um, yeah, that has been my day so far. Um, did I vlog anything yesterday? I don't think I did. What did I do yesterday? Um, we didn't really do anything yesterday Ian was at work as usual, I was at home um, I managed to tie, finish tidying my desk and move everything that was underneath it the two boxes and that um, so I've managed to put all of the hand dyed yarn that's in my shop in an actual box a pull, up, pull out box over there um, so it's safe from creatures and things <laughs> um, and it's still in the box that I had it in as well so I've just picked that up um, but yeah, I've been slowly working on my 
cowl and I'm really really enjoying it and I love it. Um, the only thing that I'm a bit disappointed in is the tension here uh, but once it's round my neck I don't even think you're going to notice. Um, the other thing is uh, I think I'm going to run out of yarn before I do the whole colour repeat section again. Um, so I'm going to have to jiggle with that a little bit. Obviously I will speak about it more in the podcast um, and I'll probably do that Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but I'm really loving it and this is how it's coming out. Some of the colours are not um, like perfect if that makes sense. Uh, this one, like as you can see here, some of the colour was very similar to the back or the base colour. Um, framework colour <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter because like there's squares here that are like that and there was another one here that is like that this one's a little bit more you can see the colour difference a bit more um, but I'm loving it and it is working out really really lovely I'm still just picking out yarns this the bag with all the yarns that I've used um, so I've got I've got 25 in here so far, and I think I've got um, 40 or 30 gumballs. I think there was 40 there, 40 gumballs. Um, so I've got sort of this, a little bit less than this to go again. Um, but I think if I run out of this main colour, which I think I'm going to, I have in my mind decided that I'm going to stripe the rest of the colours and just do it like my litmus cow and just carry on striping all the way up. So yeah, um, just a little update with um, bits and pieces and that, i am just got it in my head so I thought I would share it here as well as podcast when it comes round. Oh sorry, I got really itchy eye. Um, I know I said that I wanted to do some polymer clay bits for the shop. Um, and bits and pieces but I f I'm finding that I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed with everything um, because when I get overwhelmed with things I find that I don't do them um, so the polymer clay stuff is going to be on hold for a little while um, number one is that we haven't <laughs> we live in such a small flat that I haven't got room for any more bits and pieces that I want to get. Um, so like moulds and all different colours and I just haven't got room. I tidied my desk up and I have got so much stuff that it's unreal. So what I'm going to start to do, instead of the polymer clay stitch markers, I am going to start making sort of stitch marker sets. So I have so many charms and beads and things that I can make my own stitch markers like I do already on my shop um, and I thought instead of selling them sort of individually um, I will start doing sets as well so like a set of five or a set of six or whatever um, and go forward that will be my next little thing um, I don't know when I'm going to do that <laughs> um, because I feel like I have very much fallen out of a routine of life. Um, I've weighed myself this morning and I've put on, uh, sorry I weighed myself yesterday and I've put on um, I think it was like two and a half pounds. Um, so yeah I just feel like I am not in a routine for anything at the moment and I've sort of slipped so I need to get back into that routine of life <laughs> in general um, so I've gone out and bought a big shop today because we were just not knowing what to have for dinner there wasn't like proper shopping in the fridge and that wasn't helping so I've gone and done that today um, so hopefully that will help. Tomorrow I am out. I'm going to Chesington with Ian's sisters and children. So I won't be vlogging just because um, one, Ian's sisters are not in that, they're, they're not um, 
they don't want to be on social media basically so I respect that um, but so that's what's happening tomorrow but from Monday I'm getting back on the bandwagon back on the routine of everything back on during the week it's working I've got to get bits and pieces done um, I haven't dyed any yarn I haven't even been hula hooping um, so yeah I really need to get back into a routine of everything so that is my plan um, so yeah but today I've put washing on but today it is Saturday and um, I'm going to sit here watch a little bit of telly carry on knitting on this um, and in my head plan out bits and pieces that I want to do I have ordered some head pins this morning um, I had an order that I had to send out as well so I did that um, so yeah I'm trying to get back into a routine and I think it's where I wasn't here at the weekends I was at the garage with Ian that's when I can do a lot of stuff as well um, but yeah anyway that's my little ramble I do apologize <laughs> so yeah there will be stitch markers going in the shop but they will be sort of beads and charms and things like that and there and I'm gonna try and get like some little sets made up um, polymer clay probably will come later on it's just at the moment it's not tickling my fancy <laughs> um, so yeah and I am still thinking about a monthly club for the yarn as well so um, the rest of this month I'm gonna try and put a screw in my head and uh, get my head screwed back on and uh, sort it out so that's it for this vlog Thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you got to the end of me rambling. Um, I am going to probably start a new vlog on Monday. Um, when I uh, probably podcast as well. Get back into a routine. Um, not saying that I need to have a routine. But it's nice just to have a routine. If that makes sense. Um... But yeah, so I just feel all over the place at the moment and I don't feel settled with anything at all. Um, like I've proper sort of gutted this place and thrown away so much stuff that we don't want or need anymore that it sort of cleared my mind and I'm like, right, now I can sort of do bits and pieces that I need to do. Anyway, stop rambling, stop rambling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. Um, I just want to say thank you for your orders on my website as well. It's been much appreciated. I'm going to go. <laughs> thank you. And I shall see you all in the next video. Bye.